Hi, this is Justin from SeaChoice, and today we'll be installing the new SeaChoice in-dash marine stereo system. As you can see here on my boat, I have an old pile system. It's, uh, the screen's gotten pretty dark over time, it's gotten pretty sun bleached. Uh, I can't really see much anymore, so it needs to be replaced. Um, what we've done today so far is I've set up, I've cut all the wires leading to this stereo unit along with the two wires that run from my amplifiers. Um, so we'll go ahead and remove this one. Um, that's some pre-work that has to be done, but you simply slot it out of the, the hole um, and take it out, and then we'll get the new, C, the new C Choice system. Okay, so this is the new C Choice in Dash Marine system I was just talking about. As you can see, it's got nice big buttons on it. It's also Bluetooth enabled, so you can connect it to your cell phone, and it is IPX6 uh, waterproof rated, which is great. On the back here, wires included with the system. We have a, a USB charging port. You also have your front and rear li uh, uh, lines out. Uh, this one today, the black one, will be used for my sub amplifier um, since I have uh, a couple of subwoofers on this boat. This, this connection here is for your remote, which we won't be using today. You also have an antenna hookup, an audio line in, some speaker wires. If you're going directly to a speaker, you'd be using these wires. Uh, I'll be using the other uh, audio outs, so we won't be using this today. And then finally, you have your uh, two power wires here. And then this blue wire is for your amplifier. It's the amplifier signal to tell the amplifier it's time to turn on. Um, so this will go straight from your unit to the amplifier. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and get this in. Uh, simply just slide it back into the same hole you took the other unit out of. And now we'll move to the rear to uh, get it fastened in. So we've just slipped this through the, uh, the dash here. Okay, now we're gonna secure it with the provided bracket. Okay, so you just slip those over the, the bolts there and you're provided with nuts. You're going to put that nut, the nuts on. And once you get these hand tied, I would recommend uh, checking your alignment one more time before you tighten them down um, to make sure that you're still lined up up top. Um, today we'll be using an adjustable wrench, but you can also use a standard M4 wrench with this as well. Okay, there's a second set of nuts here that we're gonna put right behind the first set. Okay, we'll go ahead and get these tightened down. These don't need to be tightened very much at all. They're very, very uh, just simple tightening with a wrench. So now we'll move on to hooking up the electrical components of this. Uh, one of the most important things when you're hooking up uh, anything electrical to your boat, you wanna make sure that you don't have power running to the device when you hook it up. Um, I have battery switches on this boat, which are in the off position right now. Um, so that ensures that I don't have any power running to the device at the moment. If you don't have a battery switch that you can turn off easily, or you wanna be just a little extra safe, you wanna disconnect the black or the negative wire that runs to your battery terminal. This will ensure uh, that you're hooking up safely and that you're not going to, uh, to hurt yourself in the process. So now we're gonna hook up the electrical components. Um, first, I'm gonna hook up the positive and the ground wire. Okay, as you can see here, also included in this is a fuse box here. This will keep your device protected um, on the inside here, this is your inline fuse here. Okay, so we'll be using a C-Choice uh, butt connector here to connect our positive wires. Simply slide this in. And you'll take a crimping tool. Crimp down firmly. Then we'll just check to make sure that's tight. Okay, then we'll hook up the ground wire. This will be grounded. Um, eventually this will lead back to the negative terminal on your battery. The red wire will return to the positive uh, side of your battery. Same thing, get that in there firmly.
Okay, make sure it's in there firmly. Crimp down. Okay, they're nice and snug. The next one I'm gonna hook up is our blue wire here. As you can tell on this boat, the blue wire that runs to my amplifier is a little bit bigger than the one that's provided with the unit, which is fine. Um, to account for that, I have a step down butt connector, which we also provide here at Sea Choice. Um, so this side is for a, this is a, four, a 16 gauge wire here. Um, this is a 20 gauge wire. So this is designed to have a bigger hole on one end and a smaller hole on the other. Um, so we don't have to worry about having two different size wires. Okay, so now we'll just put this in the other end here. So now that I've got these crimped on there, I'm gonna take a heat gun and uh, I'm gonna heat shrink these to the wire. That gives us a good protection against any moisture that might get inside the wire to keep it from corroding. So next we're gonna put some heat shrink over these. Um, I recommend doing this on any connection you have uh, on a boat. Just helps further protect the wire from getting moisture in there. Um, never hurts to have a little extra layer of protection. Um, so you'll want to slide this on before you connect the, the butt connectors, obviously. Uh, make sure it's already on your wire. You're simply going to slide it over, and just like we did with the, the previous uh, butt connections, we're going to just put some heat on this, and it'll shrink right up. So we've got our heat shrink on here now. Um, we're ready to move on to the next step and hook up the amplifiers. So the last step here is to hook up uh, my two amplifiers. So I have a sub amp, which will be going to the black wire. Then I also have an amp for my speakers, which will be going to the gray wire here. Okay, so we're gonna hook up the first one, uh, the, the sub amp first. Okay, we're simply gonna take these connections and line them up. So red with red, and then you may find some of these uh, wires have a, have a black connection instead of a white, um, but they're the same thing. So white would either go to white or black. This is the wire that goes to my speaker amplifier. Same thing, red to red, and then white to white or white to black. Okay, so we're done with all of our connections now. We'll go up top and give it a test. The last thing I'm gonna do is clip on the, uh, the outside piece here. Okay, this simply just goes over the top and it clips right in, very easy. Okay, look how nice that looks. And provided with this is also a cover. Um, if you don't want your radio to end up looking like this, you can see how cloudy this screen is here. Um, it got really hard to see. Uh, this is really important. You wanna make sure that you get keep your screen covered um, when you're done. So this is a very important and great piece to come with. Um, it just goes right on top, fits right on there. It's part of your uh, get off the boat criteria. Okay, so now we've got this thing in here. It's set up, everything looks great. Power's working great. Um, I've selected to hit source, selected uh, down to Bluetooth audio, and I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my phone now. As you can see here, uh, C-Choice 72106 is the name of the available device. We simply just click on it on our phone. We'll hit pair. All right, let's give it a go. sound uh, coming out of this is, is wonderful. Um, it's great. It also has some adjustable settings uh, so you can adjust the EQ on this as well um, to make it exactly what you want it to be. Hope this has been informative on how to get this thing installed and how to get it set up. Um, other than that we really don't have much to do here. Pretty pretty simple install.